How is it going everybody? You're watching Then About Tech and today we're going to talk about one of the most common questions iPhone users have. Does fast charging actually ruin damage? Is it bad for your iPhone battery? Well, I'm going to explain you that in a very short, very easy to follow video. Let's begin. So it all comes from the fact that when you use a fast charger like this one, for example, a 20, 30, like 50, 70 watt charger or even more, your iPhone tends to get a little bit warm while you do it. And because it gets warm, because it gets a little bit hot, many people actually think this is really bad for the battery. It's ruining the battery. This is just destroying the iPhone battery and of course making the battery health go down. So let me go ahead and actually bring you data and information about this. So if we actually go ahead and open up our settings and then go ahead here and open up battery and then go here to battery health, as you can see, I'm just going to give you my personal example and then we'll follow from there. As you can see, I've been using this iPhone 16 Pro Max from day one, September 2024. Over six months of use, I've gone through 199 cycles, so pretty much 200 cycles, which is a lot for that period. And my maximum capacity is currently at 100%. So I haven't lost 1% of battery health and I have never, absolutely never used a slow charger. I've been using a fast charger for every single charge on this iPhone. Uh, this 20 watt or 30 watt, I've been using third party chargers that are actually over 120 watts of power and I use a lot of MagSafe wireless charging as well here in the house and of course wireless charging in my car as well. So as you can see, this is what a lot of people think it's the worst way to charge. So super fast chargers, uh, wireless charging, it's going to create a ton of heat, it's going to degrade the battery and as you can see, 100%. And I'm actually using betas on this phone, which is bad for the battery as well, and still is at 100%. Meaning that this charging with a powerful charger, of course, isn't degrading the battery at all. And I know a lot of you guys are going to say in the comment down below, yeah, but how can we actually trust you? Like, are you actually saying the truth or are you charging with a slow charger and saying the opposite? So let me explain you a little bit further how this actually works. We generally call this a charger, right? But this little box is not a charger. This is a power source because the charger itself is actually inside the iPhone, is right here inside the phone, meaning that the iPhone is the one who actually manages the charge, the power input, and of course, the temperature. And that's why when we plug in our iPhone, when it's like low on battery and we first plug it in, that's why we generally get a very high power input, like close to the maximum capacity of the power source. So 20 watt, 30 watt or more, depending on your iPhone. But then this power input, it actually goes down over time because your iPhone is actually managing that power input. It's not the power source, it's not the charger, it's actually the iPhone. And the same happens with the temperature. So let me show you something. If we go ahead here and open up this screenshot, as you can see, starting in iOS 17, your iPhone will, if necessary, put the charging on hold if it detects that it has overheated. So if it is actually too hot, your iPhone will put the charging on hold. You don't have to worry about this. And this actually may happen even if you're using a slow charger. So let's imagine a scenario you are in a very hot environment, super hot environment. And then you're charging your iPhone with a slow five watt charger, for example. This may cause your iPhone to overheat and this may cause this feature to trigger. So as you can see, you don't have to worry about the charger itself because your iPhone will manage the power input and the temperature and if necessary, put charging on hold in order to protect your battery. You don't have to worry about any of that because your iPhone 
is actually capable of managing for you. Of course, if you want to, you can charge your iPhone with a five watt charger, but in the end of the day, you're not protecting your battery. You're just wasting a lot of time, especially if you have a newer iPhone, like a 15 Pro Max, a 16 Pro Max. It's gonna take hours to charge your iPhone if it can charge, because sometimes it won't even charge if we're using it while charging, because it's just using more battery than recharging and you're not doing anything good for your battery. And to wrap up this video, I have one final tip, which of course I've talked about this a million times here on the channel, but maybe you're new to the channel. So if you go ahead and open up your settings and come back here to the battery section, as you can see, and go to charging, the one thing you have to worry about when charging your phone is not the power source, of course, is charge limit, and optimize battery charging. So if you have an iPhone 15 or newer, you can use the feature charge limit and then your iPhone will automatic limit the charge at 80%, your battery at 80%. You're gonna plug it in and once it reaches 80%, it'll stay there and it won't charge over that. This will really protect your battery. This is great for your battery in the long run. Or if you have an older iPhone, like iPhone 14 or older, you can use optimized battery charging, which will do kind of the same thing, but it'll do it only if you charge it overnight. So it'll maintain the battery at 80%. It won't go above 80%. It'll stay there overnight for many, many hours. And then when you are close to waking up, then it'll charge to 100. So then when you wake up, you have it at 100. Simple because charging past 80%, especially maintaining at 100% is actually really, really bad for your battery. So this is something that you have to worry about. Only this, not really the power supply you're using. So as I've mentioned many times, charge as you wish with a 20, 30, 50, 100, 150 watt charger, no problem. It can be from Apple, an authentic charger, or it can be from any other well-known brand that you know, that you have laying around, a good manufacturer. You can use it as well, no problem at all. So that's it. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you in the next video. This is your guys. Bye-bye.